You basically stand here, take a step, do first you gotta do your hands like shot up there, turn the head so you don't go back to the floor, and go <coughs> over. From here, and when you go over, you slide your head your arm and move over your shoulder. You wanna break your nose. <laughs> Over instead of to the side. Okay, grab, grab my shirt. Right? I'm going to grab your shirt. What I want to do right now is take them out of balance. So I'm going to lift this arm and pull this one. Put, don't do anything. Put them on one leg, right? Right? Over here, I can roll them down. So you're going to have to bend your bend your knee and sit down and do a great fall to, to the floor. Yeah. Okay. The same thing. I can do it also with a left foot. So I like for I'm going to push him forward here, okay? and I can trim him with a leg. You know? Just wait for the leg, just resist. So I'm here, I did this from here, I do this. Okay? And you do a hip throw. So you resist the hip, the back of the neck from here. You put this leg over, bend the knees, and roll him over your hip. Now, in your mind, you want to get, put the other leg around, for a break fall, put the other leg around, yeah, sit, yeah, and you don't want to put the arm behind your back, and right. your shoulder, with the other arm. Okay, yeah, but I try to do it fast, but slow down, so you're not going to get injured. So if somebody's coming here, from here, you got to put, you know, just locate your arm. Okay. Okay. So what? Just don't put anything out. Just what you for me. So mm -hmm. I have you here. Mm -hmm. Put the leg over. Right, right foot all the way. Put the right foot further right. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go. Ahead. See, put this arm straight. I don't want to. You don't. Put you it. don't put the palm of your hand down. If you break your wrist. And I'm going. I'm. I'm there, there is a. You can also throw somebody with one hand and then it's electric. Come here. It's like from here, you just palm, palm, and that's it, on the bottom of the leg. From here, anywhere on the bottom, here. I mean, like this, not going to do anything. But from here, I just put my leg here. Right? And obviously, I want to leave it. If I want to kill him, I'm going to follow it up to the floor. I'm going to pick you up before you over the head. So you lean forward, bend your knee, grab, grab, grab it on. Right? Now you can do the same thing. You can kick here, here. Obviously, if he's shaking you, when you try to knee him, uh, kick him, he's going to put your foot down. You're going to say, shake me. Then I can't kick him. Right? So you're going to come here, you're going to look for a finger. Right? Over here, it doesn't matter. The hand out the same. I'm pulling your finger out. Here. Um, yeah. And I'm bringing it down to the center of gravity, right here. I break it down. Look, look, he's coming down. Right? Then I can walk away. You know, they turn and kick to the groin. If you break it, you can just walk. Obviously, you can always do a head bust, you can always do a kick to the leg, and you can also do elbow. So we're going to lean forward so you can reach, right? Here, and the other one. I'm here like this. Yeah, you know, if I can, I, I don't want to try. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't have, uh, let me see. If I bend my head. Well, I don't want to do a complete motion. Yeah? It's hard. Yeah, right? I'm going to lose. Here, here. Okay? And again, I'm not turning it this way and not that way, like the globe. And here's the globe, but there's no control, right? Because I'm pushing both hands. One is pulling and the other one is pushing, but at the same speed. If I don't do it at the same speed, I'm going to bring him here and then push him here. Nothing happens. You, you want him to swivel where he is and you want to create a leverage on his spine, on his cer 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 uh, cervical spine here. See here. If I, if I leave him here, it's going to turn. I don't want this. But from here down, see right here. Like a corkscrew? Like a quicker, here, quicker. he's going to fall by himself, and I wouldn't have to hop him. When you train, you want to feel the controls to make sure your motion doesn't stop. Like so a corkscrew? Like a corkscrew down? Right here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, uh, when you train, you want to do it slow, from, from here, and, you know, and start here, push from the side of the chin. And bring it down here. Flow here. Right? Do it both sides so it, you know. Never you should really it. feel that because there's a sweet spot in there. Yeah. Like you were saying, one is one, it's 
There's one that really gets you down. You, you can also do it with your body. Grab it again. From here, I do this and I do it with my shoulder here, my chest here. Okay, you feel it up the neck. Okay, so it's like this. Yeah. You know, you fish the nose, like over here you have a beak, you fish the nose here, and smack here, or grab the side of the face, both on, you shove here. Okay? Mm. Over here. Usually, if you, if you shove your waist, you're not, you're, uh, the sound to the eye, it's not going to end up like this. Grab it again. You grab here. You're not going to try to push that back. You want to grab him, just shove your eyes here. He's going to jump back. You know, if I do this, but he's leaving me, right? Okay, how do you escape from that? How do you escape? He done. Step back. No. Give me just a. Yeah. See? Now I'm going to see you try again. I'm going to feel like my vision went for a second. Did you, you didn't see anything? Yeah, I saw stars. Huh? Before dropping? No, I saw stars. Okay, my vision went like that. You see, it's visible with black. No, the vision went so huh? for a second. It was black. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do, the, uh, do, do the head twist on. Here. Here. Then you can finish it with a nub on top of the head. This is just a fill where it is. I mean, also, if you're flying up in the air, you can screw it up when you're flying in the air. Another option, if you're losing balance, you grab the head and you roll it to the point that you're going to be on top. So you use the motion. While you're up in the air, you're going to turn it down. Uh, okay? I mean, you can do this. You punch, he's coming to grab you underneath. He's coming to grab me underneath. Over here, okay? If you didn't manage to do this, you go with him and you want him to be on the ground. Oops, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're here, right? Yeah. You, if you spot, step yeah, in, you want to have a perfect shot. shot. Yeah. 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 What are you going to get? Just try to grab. Alright. But. What are they? Yeah. 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 No. You don't have time because you. I'm trying to go. No, no, you don't jump. I'm, I'm trying, trying to not Watch me. Watch me. I'm pivoting my torso and falling. Forward, yeah, forward, forward. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Are you have to steal things in those? Are your toes made out of iron? Alright. Uh, <laughs> right release from choke. Fast 
you a snack. Oh, okay. Anyway. But technically, somebody grabs you here and he pulls you right from here. Here. But what is he? For me to get that one on the ground, on his head, shoulder, or you can take it. And here's when guys take the fingers in my hand. Okay. But you know, somebody grabs you behind. Here, right? Choke, or you can sit it. And put, you know, in judo, judicial. Right here. Here. You make a spoon with your hand, take it down here. This is the key, not here, here. Okay. It's a lever shoot. Over here. And use both hands. What you can do, when you do this, you can also try to scratch his eye. In training, you can look back, and if you can mark his forehead, not his eye, do that. Otherwise, don't just do that in, in Michigan. You don't use Gawa. Okay. From here. So, he's choking you, feel it. Hey, come in here. Okay, I would, I would go for that first. You don't, you don't want to have your uh, windpipe broken. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to scratch him. Here. He said before. Your windpipe is broken. Here, if you can. Now, if you keep both arms here, elbow the to your body, you can breathe if you lean back. Mm -hmm. You have a little room, right? He's going to pull you, trying to put you on the floor. On the floor. You've got to get out of the direction of the pull. So he has nothing to pull, right? Mm -hmm. Now, keep this arm here. With the shoulder, I'm going to push on his elbow. He has force that way, but not keeping his arm down. So I'm pushing his shoulder. That way I can, if I'm using my shoulder, I can have both arms here to secure my neck. I'm pulling my chin so it will go through. Pushing with this shoulder his body so I have room there. I'm moving my head here. If I don't, he's going to get, get up, get up. And get it and start kicking me. So I'm here. Okay, I'm switching here. Switching here before I lift my head. And I'm completing fluid motion, just dumping him on the floor with his head. Go to break something. Okay? You still have to teach. See, I can't now. I'm going to go in here. Wrist. One of those. 
Same. Has his legs around you. Lie down. On your back. Put your legs around me and grab your heels. You can't reach the groin. Maybe you can reach his butt, like the you know the butt bone or whatever. Right here. Let's go whenever you don't want to get hurt. Go ahead. Okay? And do it slow. Here. You might want to move your arm. Try, try to escape with your head. Don't let me poke your eye. Alright. Ready? Go ahead. <clears throat> okay? Okay. Try it. Again, when you put pressure on the eyes, let them close the eye. I'm doing gradually until you leave you. If you're not comfortable, you've got to leave you. Come on, try it. Get closer, closer, right? I'm here, right? Hey, I can push you. I can put my knee in there if I want to do that. Right? I might just hit a little board here, here, and then here. Okay? Uh, they have a lot of techniques with somebody trying to get between your legs. You don't want somebody between your legs. You could Picked your groin or hit it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you're going to get there, but you're, he could have killed you if you let somebody bring your groin. You don't want. So, you, you don't want. How would you let somebody bring your groin? You're probably the one that try to hug him like a tree. Yeah. You don't but, want to, you know, yeah. you just don't do that. Uh, but, you know, if somebody's between your groin, is trying to reach your head, it hit you from there. Be, don't, don't ever grab somebody. Some other people do it because. Originally, they're not expecting that. Then they start doing it. They start punching, right? But so what are you gonna do? Start going like this? Don't hold somebody between your groin, okay? But let's say he's punching me or whatever. If you're able to grab him, you know, if he if he's trying to stay away from you because if he's here, I'm gonna punch him. You know, move move away, stand straight, and from there you try to punch me, right? From here, I mean, I, I can bang his head like that. I think what he was done. But but. Why would I? He could have hurt my groin before that. This is why we don't do so that. You, so you don't. Yeah. That's like, yeah. so. What you're saying is okay. What was the standard ground fighting technique no. of a guard is something you want to avoid. Yeah. Right. So well, I, you know, for somebody that wants to use it for sport, That's you are going to teach how to hit from there. Right. For somebody like Rama Gar, I'm not going to teach how to hit from there. There's no purpose because why? Because I'm the one who initiating that position that somebody is between my leg. And I'm letting somebody into my house when he's between my leg. Okay. And he could have hurt me badly before that. So I don't do that. Okay. Okay? Alright. Uh, so how do we how do we get off uh, how do we get somebody off of us? That is yeah, right. So somebody, somebody is sitting on top of me. Sit on top. Actually, uh, I want you to practice a couple of times from here. A break fall. So you're gonna do that a couple of times from the knees. Fly. All right. <laughs> Not to die. No, what was that? My name is what? Prepare to die. Who is that? I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you for years. Let me go back. Punch. Look at the bridge. Why? Because if I didn't, he would punch me again. Eventually, he would get me. First one, he projected it. After the first one, he project I mean, from a close distance, you need to project. You're not going to go here. Boom. 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 Right? You see the intention. Number one, he's sitting on top of you. He's going to hit at some point. If you didn't, didn't you were not in a concussion when you fell before, or you're not disoriented, you have a chance. If you were, you can look at him, you're not going to have enough reaction time for anything, he's going to hit you anyway. You're not going to move anywhere, you know, but sit over here. I don't know how you got there, but obviously you're aware that he's going to hit you, so he did this here, depending where he comes, here or here, like that, here, and he did a bridge at the same time. Because now he's going to increase his speed, he's going to get you, even if he doesn't know about reaction time, eventually he's going to get you. Because you see, he can't get you, so he say, oh, let me work a little faster. And you know he's going to get you. There's no way you can react on time from that distance. The, the distance for the strike and the last is the same. And he is initiating it. He, he picks up the angle. Again? Here. Here. Oh, 
maybe you can kick here, right? Here. Okay, so keep my hands close to my butt. I'm doing I can do the bridge backwards. I can do it in an angle here, wherever I want to fly. Okay, so this is against the strike. If it was choking me, choking me. I'm going to have to get off this first. So the thumb is working with the finger. I have five fingers coming from the same side. Let's put it right here. And instead of letting it fall on the floor, it'll be over there. Yeah? From here. You see, I, I put my arm in front so it doesn't fall on my face. Again. Yeah, set. Choke. And I hit it back one. So I do this, immediately this arm is here, from here underneath his arm, and this one hits the coin. And we, let's do that, we're going to do it 10 times with four. So hands here, one, one, two, one, two, from here, right? Windpipe, and you push in, you show this out there. I'm going to do a little bit, so I feel a little uncomfortable. And from here, I'm going to pluck it, take a spoon in my hand. Close to his thumb. Now I do this from here. Here we go. Here, come close to it, right? Obviously, back so I don't want to get a headbutt. Try to give me a headbutt. Here. Can you reach? Instead of using two hands, it went like that. Why? I don't know if somebody attacked him or somebody attacked somebody else. He was teaching uh, guard prison, uh, uh, prison guards. And, uh, Somebody chokes and gives somebody a head bath. Maybe he came or whatever, so he changes. Supposedly, try, is, you try to try to grab and do a head butt again. Do this. Okay? I don't do this. I teach the release from choke. Mm -hmm. Why? If somebody the choke is something that happens after. This is a defense move that happened before. Before anything. Before a few things, it could be a grab, the reaction time, there's a, a couple of things. Uh, if a guy chokes a woman, he wants to choke her. He doesn't give her a headbutt. She doesn't have so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, it. So, it's this. It's easier. Plus, if, if you cross your thumb across somebody, you release one hand. I mean, you can actually escape it backwards. But you can still. You, you can could still respect it, it, it and save it backwards. Mm -hmm. uh, Right, if I do this, cross your, your thumb over. Now with this arm, try to apply pressure on my foot. I got this one, but try with this one. Can you choke on this one? No, with the other one. You do this like this. No, like that. Oh. And she still does well. I need to be that far. Yeah. Right? You gotta be strong. I mean, yeah. and this is much quicker, right? Okay. Again, choke hard. Here, right? And again, that thing. Uh, number one, somebody slap you and then choke you, it's going to take a second for you to react. You won't be able to do that. If somebody wants to give you a headbutt, if you see he's coming like that, come like this, because the headbutt is immediate. Uh, if you have time, they have another technique. Somebody is coming at you, right? you're going to stop him here. Right? I don't see an necessity to change technique for the mid range or whatever. If you didn't get it here, you're not going to get it from a reaction point of time. So if you get him here, okay, you got him here. If you put his arm, if, if you send your arm, if you're blocking him, it's good. Now, let's say somebody grab me like this, grab me like this. Okay, I mean, he didn't, he didn't really choke me. He's not choking. I didn't feel it. But if you get to the point where you feel a choke, you got to get it. Right? You got to do this. Now, if somebody wants you to choke you first, then give you a hand buff? Possible. But when you feel a choke to your throat, you want to get out of there. Okay. Boaz, mm -hmm. you know, you don't like the movement where you go like this. Well, yeah, well, no, that's, that's, for different, that's for a different technique. The choke? Yeah, you, if somebody's choking and you spin. Yeah, that's, that's if you push. push. That's, that's if yeah, you yeah, push. Yeah, it's utilizing your control. Okay. Let's go grab lunch. So, I just want you to to practice this setting because it's easier to stand here. Right. All right. Choke me. I mean, you can do this and then you come up with an uppercut. Do it a couple times and then go back to the floor. Uh, oh, we're going to do the launch. OK. 
Okay, that's good. We'll do that after lunch. Okay? Obviously, you want to keep the kick if you want, get up, and whatever. So, <clears throat> it's this here. Or a black and here. You might want to push it to the side, backwards, or if you resist, you do it to the other side. If you know it's going to move one way, you move to the other. You got, you're going to feel it. Okay? You need to keep your heel close so you have a high bridge, and then he's going to flip him up. He's going to be busy falling with his hand forward so he can't attack you again. And you got to protect yourself with this hand. You got to swing it underneath his arm because his arms are here. And then if you fall underneath, you have this. And this one, a groin shot. It's like a bird flying up in the air, you got to hit it with its flight. Not when it comes back very well. Which one did this? You want the choke? Nice uh, shiner. Yeah. Oh, and the bridge. Well, yeah, just don't throw me at your camera. I'm not even going that way, No, don't tell me which way you throw. I'm just throwing it on the bridge. It's on the bottom of No, your bridge can go slightly to the side as well. Right, so, it's just a bridge attack, just bridge defense. And you know what it is? Yeah, Remember this, we did it the other day. See there? Yeah. Getting out the choke, bridging, and then you're going to protect and strike as he's flying through the air. Bridge, bridge, this bridge is protect and strike. Right, right I'll grab from the outside. Remember that choke from the standing no, no, choke? No, we did the bridge. What the fuck is that? Yeah, and the bridge? choke. Bridge and choke. Bridge and choke. Right, grab his hands now. Oh, 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 okay. Bridge is coming. Do you want to practice the bridge first? The bridge is coming. The bridge is coming. Alright, just give me the lead. Yeah, I'm ready. Stop looking at that room. Alright, because you're going through it. Alright. I've got a good thrusting motion, so I'm told. Uh, I can tell. What was his name? <laughs> yeah, funny Brad. He lives in Chelsea, right? I'm the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. The meat packing. Food packing. Right on the border. Some call it meat packing. Some call it Chelsea. That. So, knock it away. No, from no, the scoop, outside. No, scoop, scoop, scoop. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Don't pull. Yeah, you're doing yeah. a fast scoop. You know, like the one when you stood up. Yeah. Yeah, you know the strangle. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah, but yeah. right. you do it then. Yeah, but you yeah. do that you do that in a, a bridge at the same time. Alright. Three, two, one. Okay. If you had your heels closer to your ass, you'd have gone further to yeah. fly. Okay? You want another one? Uh, yeah, he wants another one, whether he likes it or not. What am I doing this time? Same thing. Same. Just don't forget, after you get me up, don't forget to bring that arm in so I don't come crashing back to the yeah, yeah. arm in and strike him. Okay. Here, you grab it up. You know, if he's trying to escape, trying to escape, he can manipulate it by shifting the weight here. Okay? You have to go over there, you have to shift the weight, you know. Okay. okay. In judo, they escape by rocking the body back and forth. They're either going to throw you over, or turn, turn this way, put your arm over my head, yeah. Yeah. or here, either way. So the idea is, if I'm resisting on one side, he's got to put pressure, and then before I have time to resist to the other one, he's got to get up. We don't waste our time with that. But, uh, go ahead, grab me like this. Where should you have your arms? Oh yeah. No, the other way. Yeah, sit, sit with your back to me, sit on the floor, grab my arm here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I mean, you, 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 yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, you put this under your arm, and you can grab maybe here. So you can grab this hand here. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. So from here, I'm going to use a pressure point. Obviously, you can use it here, all iron on here. You can actually, or you can use here from here. Right? Here or here? We just standing, or we're going to be standing. So I'm sliding my arm here. Taking him down, hitting the groin, and what I like to do is immediately go for the throat, to grab the throat, right? You can also put your foot here, but then you can bite your, your foot, and you can't reach the throat, right? What am I achieving? Somebody is dangerous by doing this. I can't, I, I can't operate his back. You can just try to escape now, okay? I don't want to do that. I'm exposed. So, again. Right here. From here, I'm coming here, here, and grab his, his neck. Okay? You want to be here. Controlling. 
Now, the other scenario, grab me again, like Okay, let, let me get my arm out. I'm putting my arm here. Put your, your head, lock, lock my arm here. No, 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 over here, like this. You grab your arm together. Right, I can't use this arm now. So I can slide my arm here, here. Do the same thing, or grab him, hair or eye from here. In the eye cavity, right, I put a leverage right here on the, on the bone. Okay, a little bit back. Same thing. Okay, I can grab these out of here. Alright, so try both. Okay. Oh. 